Today, Kevin and I, we've combined some things uh, for you that are that are out for Valentine's Day. Uh, this is the uh, Sakato brand. These are called Moments Supreme, and they are milk chocolate with hazelnuts, and it's a heart, nice heart-shaped container. And then these are, these weren't out for Valentine's Day, but it's the same brand, so I put them in this review anyway. Uh, this is the... Uh, uh, Pissari cookie butter. I mean, I have the endangered species candy bars. This one is oat milk and dark chocolate and tart raspberries and dark chocolate. And there is another bar uh, with these two. They, they have a set of three. Whatever that other flavor was, we had already reviewed it. That's why you don't see it here. The endangered species candy bars were $3.29 each at CVS. And then the Sakato were both bought at World Market. Um, the tin, the heart tin was $9.99, um, and it was on a special display with Valentine's Day things, and then the, the cookie butter we actually found in the, the back, uh, with all the other food, and it was $3.99, but I thought, cookie butter, that sounds really good, and I didn't want to pass it up, so, aha. Uh -huh. This um, heart tin reminds me, when I was in third grade, we had a Valentine's Day party. It was my most memorable party at school because um, they, um, they put uh, something under your chair. And if you sit in that chair, you won a prize. Mm -hmm. Well, I won a prize and it was a, a heart shaped box. It was probably the size of the heart in the center, that white one but it was full of M&Ms, and yeah. I won that, and I was just so happy that I had won that. I think we're gonna have to eat one all by ourselves. I don't, it looks like it's liquid inside. It is, um, I'm gonna flip it over here. Milk chocolate truffles with hazelnut filling and whole hazelnut. Two pieces are 210 calories, and there's four and a half servings in the, the box. Oh, did you get it? Okay. Just a thick truffle, oh, yeah. truffle filling. Well, on the front, it, you couldn't tell. It does look softer and shinier on the box. It's nice. It's a very thick chocolate, the filling is. These are made in Italy. It's nice that you get a, you get a good hazelnut flavor. Those are, that's good. I would, mm -hmm. I, would, uh, I would give that away to... Um, a Valentine, mm -hmm. if they like hazelnut. Mm -hmm. There's a big piece. It's um, it's a very very thick, um, and rich, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the filling is very thick. But I love yes, it is very thick. It um, I love the the whole hazelnut. Mm -hmm. uh, so it adds the flavor, but it also adds the crunchiness. Do you think that's worth ten dollars? No. But, but a lot of things aren't worth $10 to me. <laughs> I would rather have, um, you can get boxes of candy that have multiple flavors in them mm -hmm. for that price or less at regular store or Walmart or wherever that have different flavors in them that, so you get a little bit of variation in it instead of all one thing. And I have to agree, I wish they had done that package. They could have put some of these in that shape and I'm sure they have other, if they do these flavors, they do many other flavors, I'm sure. Um, they could have had a whole heart with di like two of it, if different flavors. Yeah. Even um, if they'd had two or three different flavors in here, I would have said, yeah, I would get it. But I think it's very, very good quality, but oh, I yeah. agree with Kevin. If I'm given something for a gift or if I'm receiving a gift, I'd rather have like a Whitman sampler, which yeah. has a ton of different yeah. flavors. That's what I'm saying. So, Not that it isn't very, very good. No, it's very yeah. good, but yeah, I, I know I agree. Uh, these are the uh, Passeri cookie butter, milk chocolate pralines filled with milk cream and spicy biscuit pieces. I'm assuming it's gonna be cinnamon. Um, those yeah. are a good size. Two pieces are 140 calories. These are round. You want me to just bite? Go ahead. Let's see what happens. It does have cinnamon and nutmeg. I tried to pull all that out with it. <laughs> I feel like shove it back in there. Good thing we're married. <laughs> I didn't see what you did to it, so. <laughs> mm. 
It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's so different from this mm -hmm. because it has that has all those little crunchy cookie pieces in it. So yeah. the inside's really filled with like this crunchy cookie mm -hmm. stuff. Um, whereas this one's just a really thick cream. It's like, like a, a purple. It's like a, a vanilla. Um, like a vanilla truffle flavor, but they put all these little cookie cookie pieces, the cinnamon nutmeg cookie pieces mm -hmm. in there. Um, That's really that, nice. It, I like the spice though. Mm -hmm. The spice is nice. It's not over. The spice is nice. Um, it's not overly spiced. It's it's just a nice spice. I like both of these. Uh, I do wish for us uh, that they had made it more of a selection box. But I do like the quality of both of these. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. honestly, if I were to choose only one, I would choose the hazelnut. I would get the cookies. I like the cookie butter. It's nice. But uh, the hazelnut's more of an everyday flavor. And I might get tired of cinnamon and nutmeg yeah, every day. See, I know? would get tired of that uh, hazelnut flavor quicker than I would the cookies. So I like the, uh, the caramel. I really like that sweet caramel on the inside with the <laughs> hazelnut and yeah. milk chocolate. Uh, this is completely different brand, uh, endangered species chocolate. And uh, so well, that was made in Italy. This is made in Indiana. <laughs> uh, this is oat milk and dark chocolate. I'm gonna give this to you. It says 55% cocoa, oat milk, Tames the complex flavor of cocoa for a modern take on chocolate. One ounce, 28 grams, is 160 calories. So that is a third of the bar. So I don't remember how these are divided. We've tried it many, many endangered species bars. I tell you what's, what's bugging me. The, the reason, too, why I picked the hazelnut over the cookie butter is because for some reason, something has left a little bit of a floral aftertaste in my I, mouth I that from all. that cookie butter. I don't know what it would be. What'd you say, it was a third of the bowl? A third. So five squares. Okay, it's 160 <coughs> calories. So oat milk and dark chocolate. It, it's very strong. Oh yeah, I, yeah. My, these endangered species bars are. And, and wow, this they is say dark chocolate. Okay, this is only 55%. The next one's much, much, much higher. You hear how hard that was? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a snap to it. And it's solid. Mm hmm. You know what? Yep. It might, it, it's, it, it doesn't taste like a, um, it's not bitter to me. It, um, I think it has a really nice flavor. It, it's a touch bitter for me and the, I don't know about the oat milk. The oat milk may change that flavor a little bit, but it's actually, not one I would get. See, I actually like that. Mm. Uh, I worry about Kevin with this next one. That is not for me. Uh, not because it's bitter like a dark chocolate. I just don't like the flavor of it. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's the oat milk that's adding that flavor to it. I just don't care for it. And I really do like the oat milk. Um, and the texture is a little, it's not a creamy smooth like dark chocolate. It's not a creamy dark chocolate. It's a very, well, most dark chocolate's not creamy, but this is kind of like grainy. The oat milk, it de definitely makes a, a difference uh, in the flavor. Hmm. It, um, it, it, there is, um, there is an odiness to it, uh, for lack of a better word. It it does have that flavor, but the chocolate, it was a good choice on their part to put it with 55% because I think if they had gone darker, you really wouldn't have been able to detect that oat, that oat flavor at all because the dark would have overpowered it. So I like it. I don't think it's not too dark for me at all. Uh, there's no bitterness. It doesn't drag your mouth out. Now this one, I think it's going to be opposite. This is tart raspberries and dark chocolate. This is 72% cocoa. Tart raspberries and dark chocolate bring sweetness to life for an invigorating taste. And it is 160 calories for a third. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very crumbly kind of chocolate. Uh, the raspberries in there is, are those like dried raspberries. They do have a tartness to them. Mm -hmm. And seeds. Um, they do have seeds over there. 
The chocolate is a little darker, a little bit bitter, but it, it's offset by the tart raspberry. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's not a bad flavor, but it's, it's too strong for me. It's too dark for me. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's too, and the raspberries are a little too... You will get in seeds. In your face. So, I know a lot of you cannot have seeds. You, you will get seeds if you buy the raspberry. Um, it, it, the, the chocolate's just way too dark for me. Yeah. Those are not my kind of thing. Not necessarily just because they're dark chocolate, but just because the um, the fla I don't still like the flavors in general. It will. Uh, it the the dark chocolate will completely dry your mouth yeah. out. Completely dry your mouth out, and it. Um, I, right now in my mouth, I have a seed. I do too. And I have the dark chocolate. So um, if those aren't your thing, then you're gonna not want to spend three dollars and twenty. I do have to say though. Um, Andrew's always complained, why do they put these flavors of dark chocolate and you can't taste them? You definitely taste the raspberry in that with that dark chocolate. Yeah. It's, it's strong. And that's why I'm saying I think that was a really smart decision for them to use only 55% cocoa in the oat milk yeah, because the you actually do get it. Yeah, and if they had put that in the 72%, you would have completely missed it. It, it would have been gone. Uh, so that was smart of them to put the raspberry with the dark chocolate. So out of the two, I would definitely pick the oat milk. Oat milk. Uh, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't buy them, but. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's always fun a, to try something I don't, new. I don't go for dark chocolate either. So I would buy these out of the four and you would probably. I would buy the hazelnut. The heart, yeah, know. I really like the heart. So uh, yeah, you'll have to let us know if you've, uh, if you've ever had any of these. And like I said, there is another endangered species chocolate out. When you go in CVS, look around at the Valentine's Day stuff. They have a set of three there, but we had already tried the other one. So you just have to search for Tammy Dunn Endangered Species and they'll all come up. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.